So you attributed self-interest with stability. Yep. When did that start to change? Because what I find interesting is like you, you, you're an outsider, like you're an outsider, not only in your, your family, you know, like you, you, you're, you're basically trying to seclude yourself from all this emotional baggage, but you, 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 don't appreciate your parents' perspective and the expectations that they're putting on you, yet you find yourself slowly adopting those those same views that that they do. Were you first of all, were you aware that you you slowly started taking on like those those perspectives that perhaps from the outside you, you probably wouldn't have appreciated or liked? No. And I think that this is where, especially as I'm older looking back, is we hear you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, who do I yeah. spend the most time with? I spend the most time with these two people. So obviously I'm going to, and from a very young age, I wanted to be like my dad. My dad was my superhero. He loved me, to care of me. At least I, even though he didn't say it, I knew they loved me. So for him, uh, since I wanted to be so much like him, once he told me, hey, people have it out for you. They don't care about you. If, they, if they're rich, they're greedy. I adopted all of that because I wanted to be like him. And then on top of that, with the, the detachment of my mom at those really pivotal years of zero to eight, those are the most pivotal years for a kid, that detachment right there, I, it, it actually, it really stemmed, it branched into multiple different facets. It, even if you couple it with the pornography, I, because my mom was so detached from me, it detached me from women. I, like I just looked at at girls and women as an ends to a mean. I did not look at them as people in the facet of like they have their own needs. They have their own emotional stuff. They are going through life the same way I'm going through it. They just have different body parts. I didn't view them that way. And I, I believe looking back that part of that is because of the detachment that I had from my own physical mom. And then the over attachment I had to my father and being this very rigid person. And I didn't realize and it really, even this conversation is opening up different avenues, looking back into, oh, shoot, maybe there's still things right now that I do that is part of that that I don't even realize. And yeah. that's that's actually been that, that kind of eye opening as we've talked about it is when I parent my son, I find my, especially in the past, not so much now, and I still do struggle with it from time to time is I find myself parenting the way that I was parented, where I will yeah. come down harder on my son for just being a kid for just having fun and because I want him to be more in line with how I am. I I'm much more open to having fun now. I'm much more spontaneous, but I'm still very much like I have my, my limits on either side. And there's some people that they like their limits is having no limits. And I'm not the same way. Like my son is, is good with no limits. My son somehow there's a, so just simple math. If you put a shirt on, you have a 50% chance of putting it on the right way or the wrong way. But for the longest time, he would always, 100% of the time, put his shirt on backwards. So it used to bother me that he would do that. And it would, it would actually make me physically upset that he would. Because I would just think it's simple math. There's no way that you could do this every single time. Like if, you just, if I just threw pants at you, it would magically, at least one out of every two times, it should go on straight. But how do I give it to you the right way and then it's somehow backwards? But that looking back or looking at it and then looking at myself backwards is I'm just tr I'm trying to parent him the way I was parented, where it was growing up. My dad made me be so perfect and in line with how he is and driving that stability. And then my mom doing the same thing that I wanted to be almost all consuming with my son and making sure that he's perfect, like pushing him to be something he's not. And that's. That's where, because my son's nine, he just turned nine a couple of weeks ago, is it was years, and there's still moments that I do that, but it was years that I, I, I treated him that way. And in the midst of trying to figure out myself and the, all the coping mechanisms, I was not the father I was supposed to be. When I quit my job and then I came into being a full-time entrepreneur, that's when I've actually been able to do that hard work to figure out things like this, find where these attachments are, be able to break them, because I don't want to pass down the same thing to my son. I want him to have different opportunities than I have, than I had. And the only way I can do that is to A, model it, because what I say to him means nothing if I don't live differently. And then two is to actually allow him to be different. He's not me. Maybe there's instances where he 
is very intellectual and there's moments that he wants to be very rigid, but there's also definitely moments where he's got his shirt on backwards and he runs around with one sock on. And those are just things I don't do. I make sure that I'm very in line with who I want to be. And so for him, it's just let him figure it out. I don't have to make him anything. And I think that's one of the, the hardest things, especially when you feel that you've achieved some level of success, at least in your eyes and comparatively to your family is you want him to be more successful. So the only way he could be more successful is if he does exactly what I did, but then some. But that's not the truth. If he, if I want him to be different and to be a better version of me, a better version of him, the best version of him, I have to let him be him. He can't be me. Yeah. And I can't make him be me. Or that's just going to destroy him. Because I've seen what that's done with my own parents trying to make me be them. 